So, our next fast pot theory. This is one that has been sort of floating around in our database, I guess you could call it, for a while now. Um, I'm not sure what the source of this is. However, it's something that our good friend V, A. Myerzai, and I have discussed um, a couple of times. And this crackpot theory is oh, that... Oh, we need her on the show again. We need to I get know, I know, yeah. Her. She should be on right now, actually. She's great at arguing this, this you know, this theory. So this theory is that Mags, um, who, you know, when she was babbling and stuff and Katniss couldn't understand her, she was actually speaking Spanish. Now, before you say, like, what the hell are you talking about, um, I just want to mention a couple of points. Number one, many people believe that District 4 includes part of Mexico because keep in mind that Panem is never said to be um, you know, the remains of the United States. It's always described as being North the remains America. of North America. So North one America, could yeah. deduce that Canada and Mexico are also included. So many people think that Mexico is actually part of District 4. Um, the name Mags is, you know, probably, well, it's it's definitely a possible nickname for, you know, a name like Magdalena, which is, um, you know, Spanish in origin or Mexican in origin. Um, and not to mention, I was looking up some statistics online, and, and regardless of the Mexico connection, um, according to the Pew Research Center, by 2050, Hispanics will make up 30% of the U.S. population. So, you know, at, at the point in time when the Hunger Games is set, which is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years into the future, um, I wouldn't be surprised if that statistic was even higher. So, I don't know, it makes sense to me that maybe in that region of the country there are people that speak Spanish like Mags. And, you know, remember, Finnick understands her. He's the only person in the arena that does understand her. And if he's also from District 4, even though he speaks English, it might make sense that he also um, speaks some Spanish as well. Yeah, and, and it is possible still that maybe Mags did have a stroke and that's why, like, she's only speaking Spanish, maybe she, you know, forgot the English that she did know, et cetera. Um, so, yeah, so there's that theory. I, I really want to hear what everyone else thinks about this. I think we should go to Sam Cushion first because, as you all know, he lives in Texas, which some people think uh, is an extension of, of Mexico, or at least uh, was at one point in time before one of Sam's uh, great, great, great ancestors fought at the Alamo. But let, let's ask Sam, wait, Sam, do you think that there's any possibility that Mags could be Spanish? Um, well, that far into the future, you never know. I mean, who knows how diverse it was. Um, I, I, I'm going to say there's, it's, it's plausible. <laughs> oh, and I want to add one thing. So Katniss is the only one who ever really describes um, her speech, like Katniss is the one who says that she's just babbling. And, I mean, it's very, very apparent that the districts are completely isolated. So it totally makes sense that Katniss would not even realize, you know, that there was such a thing as the Spanish language. In my opinion, I think that's totally plausible. Um, well, wasn't there a, um, yeah, this is Rebecca talking. Wasn't there a point, I think, in Mockingjay where Plutarch says something to her in Latin and he has to explain that it's another language? Right. So she's just, yeah, she's completely isolated from from other cultures. Um, if I could pop in for a second. Yes. This is Ariel. Yes, um, please, Ariel. I, yeah, I, um, I think that this is a really... Um, great crackpot theory, and I think it could, you know, definitely have its basis in fact, especially because um, Mags was alive before the Hunger Games started. Um, she was about five when it was instated, and, you know, I, I kind of, like, went a little further with this theory, and possibly, you know, English is the required is the required and main language of Panem, and everyone must speak it, or else. So maybe Mags did have a stroke or, you know, or is a little bit senile and she's remembering the language of her youth that, you know, maybe she hasn't spoken in a while or it's been like, you know, 
scared out of her or whatnot. So it could be, you know, I like babbling in any language, but I kind of like the idea that she's remembering the language of her family um, from before the game. 